Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's video we're going to share how Peach did with her socialization. This weekend we made a 9 hour car trip to visit our friends in North Carolina. We decided to drop off Dante at Leroy's house because we were concerned that the stress of the car ride would trigger his epilepsy. Although we missed him very much, we knew that he was in good hands and that he was having a blast, as you can see from the video. This here is Bailey, and she became our socialization guinea pig for Peach. If she looks familiar to you guys, it's because she is. A few months ago, our friends decided to pick up a puppy from a breeder near our home. Now this was a little bit before Peach arrived, so Peach never got to meet her, but Dante did, and they got along very well. Bailey is a golden retriever puppy that is very social and very friendly, so I was very curious to see how Peach would react to meeting her for the first time, especially since Dante was not there to give her cues. As soon as we arrived, we were greeted by Bailey. She was very energetic and playful, and Peach, on the other hand, was very reserved. Although she was not reactive, her body language showed that she was not 100% comfortable with the situation, which is normal considering the fact that she was in a completely different place. She was seeing a new dog and she didn't have Dante to kind of back her up. I kept Peach busy by putting her in an obedience training state of mind and by the end of the night she was completely fine and comfortable. The next day we decided to go to a state park. We thought it would be a good idea to allow the dogs to get to know each other a little bit better and to just have a fun time. So cute! I'm dead. That is cute. That's it for you. I'm ready, done. ready to go back. Done for the day. Girls. Anybody happen to bring a water? Yeah. Guys, are Such a roam wherever they want. Explore. Come in. people not like dogs? Peach will be turning nine months this month and this is the first time that we felt comfortable enough to have her practice her off-leash training. This was a big deal for her because we were in a different place with different noises and smells and there was Bailey and there was different people that she didn't know so she did a very good job for this being her first time but I definitely noticed that we do need to work on our recall a bit more um, just to perfect her off-leash training. When it comes to socialization, my husband and I are very particular with what dogs we allow Dante and Peach to interact with. As many of you know, Corsos are very sensitive dogs, so we take in that responsibility of always making sure that any interaction they have always ends up being a positive one. So for example, we don't take Dante or Peach inside dog parks because although we can control our dogs, we don't know how other dogs were trained and we can't control other people's dogs. Our goal with our dogs is for them to be neutral to new situations, but at the same time do their job and protect us. If we wanted a friendlier dog, we wouldn't have gotten Connie Corsos. Once you know what dog you're going to socialize your dog with, it is your job to pay attention and be vigilant of your dog's body language. Earlier when Peach was acting insecure, we made sure to redirect her behavior towards obedience training. This sends the message to your dog that they should be looking to you and they should be obeying you no matter what situation they're in. Obedience training also helps your dog stay focused and in a working state of mind instead of being idle-minded and making decisions for themselves. I also made sure to watch how they were playing. So for example, I wouldn't allow Peach to go on top of Bailey or try to dominate her because she needs to be a submissive dog towards me. She needs to understand that I am the alpha and she can't be doing that with other dogs. At the same time, if they were playing and they needed to correct each other, I would allow that. Having a submissive dog towards you is what prevents your dog from becoming a bully and getting into trouble with other dogs later on. If your dog looks to you for direction, that is what creates a confident dog because they know that they can trust you to make decisions for them when they are not sure about something. 
Now these techniques work for Peach and her temperament. If you have a dog that is dog aggressive, there are definitely other things that you would need to work on with them aside from what I mentioned. If you need help in training your dog or your puppy, I definitely recommend the courses over at Fenrir Dog Training. I will leave a link in the description for them below in case any of you guys are interested. There is also a coupon code that you could use in case you would want to purchase any of the courses. Good girl. You having fun, Billy? Did you have a fun girl? You have a fun girl. Peach, come, come, Peach, come, Peach. Good girl. Break. Come here, Peach. Good girl. Heel. Good girl. Break. Peach girl. Ready? Come on, Peach girl. Good girl. You wanna play with? Now let's look for a stick. Ready, girl? <gasps> look at this stick. It's a big girl. Ready, girl? Come on, Bailey. Ready, girls? Girls, ready? One, two, three. Go get it, go get it, go get it. Good job. <laughs> Bailey's like, I'm not letting go. Oh, there she let go. <laughs> get it, Bailey, get it, Bailey. <laughs> They're gonna get dizzy. <laughs> walking each other. Get it, Billy! Get it, Billy! Get it from her! Get it from her, girl! Good girl, Bailey! Come on, Peach! Get it, get it, get it! Bailey is like shining in the sun. Bumping into Lucas. Just be careful, don't do your head shake. Peach not only did a great job with Bailey, but she also behaved very well with her hosts. As you guys know, she has a problem with jumping, so she, by the end of the weekend, learned that she had to sit to get any kind of attention. Our hosts were amazing in helping us train her as well, so we're very thankful to them for that. By the end of the weekend, Peach and Bailey became the best of friends and would practically take care of themselves. They would go out whenever they wanted, come back inside whenever they wanted, and it was an overall great experience for her. They were so attached that by the end of it, Bailey wanted to come back home with us. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so we can reach our 10K goal. Next week, we will have a couple of videos with Dante showing you what we have been working on with him, so stay tuned. Once again, thank you so much and see you next week.